seven hidden gem werewolf movies to watch this Halloween. This is Nerdist Now. Well, the pumpkin wizard saw its shadow this past weekend, and that means that spooky season has arrived. That, that's how October works, right? If you're anything like myself, you probably spend this month watching horror movies day in and day out. And with all the slashers, thrillers, and downright terrifying films out there, it can be an absolute chore to curate your Halloween watch list. But with the very recent release of Marvel's Werewolf by Night on Disney+, Plus, we were inspired to put together our own list of the often overlooked genre of werewolf movies, with some overlooked werewolf movies. While not as prolific as vampire or zombie movies, a good werewolf movie is hard to come by. Of course, you've got your classics like An American Werewolf in London, Ginger Snaps, and The Howling, but this list has some hidden gems we think you should toss on the TV when the moon is full this month. We're gonna start with a film that feels like a perfect double feature to mix with Werewolf by Night, and that's the movie The Beast Must Die. This 1974 British film takes place at a remote estate owned by an eccentric and really cool millionaire who invites guests to his mansion including horror legend Peter Cushing and young Dumbledore. His dinner party takes a turn, however, when he reveals that his guests were invited because one of them is secretly a werewolf and he plans to hunt them down. Which, if you're ever looking to bring your evening to a screeching halt, this is a pretty great way to do it. The movie is a weird blend of mystery, James Bond technology, and is the only film in history to feature a werewolf break that gives the audience a chance to guess who the werewolf is. This is the werewolf break. Have you guessed who the werewolf is? Is it Paul Foot? Kind of a one-time use type of deal, but still pretty fun. Wolf Cop! Our neighbors to the north have given us a lot of things. Insulin, IMAX cameras, the delightful Martin Short. Tell me about Elvis Presley. Elvis? I love Elvis! Uh, Tell me about him! They're also responsible for the 2014 Splatterfest that is Wolf Cop. The title of the movie tells you pretty much all you need to know. An alcoholic cop in a small town finds a cultist in the middle of a ceremony to sacrifice an upstart politician. Officer Lou Garou, get it? It's French for werewolf, is knocked out and wakes up the next morning in a bed with a pentagram carved into his stomach and no memory of what happened. From there, things get feral as the titular wolf cop tears his way through occultists and gun-toting criminals to figure out what's really going on. If you want a horror comedy that rips off faces and sprays blood all over the walls while a wolfman eats donuts and drinks booze, this one is definitely for you. The Curse of the Werewolf. Hammer Films gave us roughly 19 million Dracula and Frankenstein movies, but only ever made one werewolf film. Lucky for them, and us, that is one of their best, 1963's The Curse of the Werewolf. Human whiskey barrel Oliver Reed stars as the owner of said curse, a Romani orphan adopted into a wealthy Spanish family in the 18th century. He grows up and falls in love, only for that love to come with a terrible burden. It's werewolfism, obviously. The makeup harkens back to the original Universal Wolfman, but it has its own distinct flair. The werewolf is blonde for some reason. I wish I knew why. Silver Bullet. Stephen King has written a story about every kind of monster you can think of. Space clowns, green goblin trucks, mist. And in 1985, his episodic novel, Cycle of the Werewolf, was adapted into the weird and wild movie that is Silver Bullet. Siblings Marty and Jane Kozlaw live in a small town in Maine in the 70s, because this is a Stephen King story. A string of violent murders shakes the town to the point of angry mob status. The sleuthing siblings, along with their Uncle Red, played by Gary Busey, start investigating who is committing these murders and whoops, what do you know? It's a werewolf. There's a lot to love in this movie, a genuinely great Busey performance, Corey Haim's super rad wheelchair, and there's a sequence where a werewolf plays a church organ. Now, who can argue with that? Wolf Guy, colon, enraged lycanthrope. For our second movie about a crime-fighting werewolf, we're going to Japan just like the Bad News Bears. The 1975 action crime horror shoot 'em up features movie legend Sonny Chiba as the lone survivor of a clan of werewolves who relies on his full moon activated superpowers to solve crimes, coming to CBS this fall. A bizarre murder in the streets of Tokyo throws our wolf guy into a wolf hole of danger. Crooked politicians, gangsters, a phantom tiger, and of course, a shadowy organization. Wolf Guy is about a seven on the bonker scale, but if you like it, you should watch another 1975 Sonny Chiba hit, Karate Bear Fighter. Late Phases. In this 2014 horror film, a vision-impaired war veteran named Ambrose and his seeing eye dog move into a retirement community, despite his son's disapproval. Things go from boring to brutal when our protagonist's neighbor is torn to pieces shortly after he moves in. 
Convinced the monster is going to return for him, Ambrose mounts a defense and prepares for his showdown with the beast, but it slowly unravels to be so much more. Late Phases is a great slow burn of a horror movie that's no slouch in the scare or gore department. This one definitely isn't for the squeamish. Wolfen. This 1981 crime horror movie stars Albert Finney as Officer Dewey Wilson, the brother of Chafing Wilson. He's been assigned to find out what is behind a series of gruesome killings originally believed to be animal attacks. Now I know that sounds like the setup for a lot of werewolf movies, but this one is set in New York City, baby. The Jets, pizzas, hey, forget about it. That's my Chris Pratt impression. Wolfen blends horror and supernatural into a fantastic crime thriller. Albert Finney is fantastic as a burned out cop facing supernatural forces, and Gregory Hines is a treat as the coroner sidekick. Come for the wolf vision, stay for the Reginald Vell Johnson. And there's seven werewolf movies to add to your queue before November rears its head. But tell us, what do you think? What are some of your favorite werewolf movies? Do you think we should have included Werewolves Within on this list? Well, we just did. And have you ever seen Wolf? You should. It's it's weird. It's a weird movie. Let us know in the comments below, and for all the werewolf news you need to know, stay tuned to Nerdist.com.